Hi, pleasure meeting you all. In this session, I am going to discuss about brooches. So let's start the session. Brooches. Brooches are the earliest aeronautic instruments, hand instruments used for the extirpation of the pulp and for enlarging the root canal. The main function of the brooch is to extirpate the pulp from the root canal and other minor functions like removal of uh, absorber points, cotton pellets and other foreign materials and necrotic debris. Coming to the manufacturing of brooch, brooch is manufactured from a tapered, round, soft iron wire which has a surface projections called bobs. The surface of the brooch has bobs which are directed coronally and these helps in the engagement of the pulp and results in the extirpation of the pulp from the root canal. There are many sizes available in brooches ranging from triple extra fine to extra coarse. Always use the brooch in a straight canal, never use it in a curved canal because the brooches often fracture. This is the reason why the clinicians have fear to use brooches. Before using a brooch, in order to avoid this separation, before using the brooch, you need to enlarge the canal minimum apical diameter around 20 to 25 with the help of a K-file or a ream. After enlarging to a 20-25, place a brooch of a sufficient size like a 15 or a 20 number brooch. Which should loosely fit in the canal without binding the any dentinal wall. Whenever you feel a binding, just stick to 1 mm from the canal and rotate in 360 degrees and extirpate the pulp. I repeat, place the brooch inside the canal. After preparing up to 20 to 25 with the help of K-file or a reamer, the brooch should loosely fit into the canal. It should not bind to the canal. For suppose if it bind to the canal, just retrieve 1 mm above the binding and have a 360 degrees rotation and just pull the pulp out of the root canal. The brooches are mainly used for the extirpation of the pulp but not for enlarging the canal. So care should be taken that brooches should always be used only in the striated canals. It should not bind to the dentinal walls or it should not be used in a curved canals. Hope you enjoyed the session.